Hello viewers, in today's video we will show you how you can root uh, Huawei Short X or also called Honor 7i. This model is same only names are different. So as you can see the phone is running uh, latest Android version which is Marshmallow and uh, the EMUI version is 4.0.3. Okay first thing is you need to enable uh, developer options by tapping seven times on build number then you need to move to developer options and enable OEM unlock once you have enabled OEM unlock look for USB debugging and also enable it once you have enabled USB debugging you need to connect your uh, phone with the PC and open CMD window now you should type uh, ADB devices in CMD screen and uh, when you will press enter on your phone screen a pop up will appear which will ask you to grant access for adb debugging you need to tick always allow and press ok and uh, then again type adb device adb devices and uh, then you need to type adb space reboot uh, dash bootloader i think i missed spellings ok after entering correct spellings you will see the phone should uh, automatically enter uh, bootloader mode also called fast boot mode here you can see phone is locked and frp is unlocked now we need to unlock the bootloader of this phone the code is already with me for my phone you need to enter the command fast boot oem unlock it's fast boot space oem space unlock space and then you need to paste the code which is bootloader unlock code for your phone when you press enter instantly your phone will be unlocked and uh, the reset uh, the phone will uh, start the reset factory reset process phone just started after uh, factory reset process you can skip all the configurations you don't need to enter uh, any screen lock or uh, don't uh, configure your fingerprint straight away you need to uh, open settings and again enable USB debugging by tapping seven times on build number and then go in developer options and there you need to enable USB debugging once you have enabled USB debugging, allow USB debugging access and uh, then you need to connect your phone with PC and type ADB reboot bootloader and again phone should enter fast boot mode and now you will be able to see that uh, phone is unlocked and FRB is also unlocked. It means the bootloader has been unlocked successfully. Now we need to flash TWRP recovery on this phone. The command is fast boot space flash space recovery and uh, then you need to drag and drop TW TWRP image on the CMD screen and press enter. Once it is flashed successfully, you should uh, disconnect your phone from PC and uh, then you need to hold volume up and power buttons we must keep these uh, buttons holding until you see the huawei logo volume up and power buttons both buttons you need to keep holding once you see huawei logo you can leave the power button but keep holding volume up button your phone should enter twrp recovery mode now you need to swipe to allow installations and uh, here you need to tap on install and uh, you need uh, to move to your SD card because the root file we have copied on SD card that is magisk.zip file you should you should copy this file on your SD card before proceeding okay now the flashing process has been started this process will take uh, hardly 30 to 40 seconds We 
suppose if you want to make backup in TWRP recovery, you can do uh, for safety uh, reasons. Uh, I don't need any backup. So that is why I just skipped this step and uh, straight away went to installation step. Flashing has been completed. Now we need to tap on reboot system and your phone should uh, reboot to normal mode. Phone just booted up now. We need to see if Magisk Manager is uh, there. Okay, I can see the Magisk Manager. Now we need to connect our phone to Wi Fi network or you can also use the data network, SIM data. Okay, if the phone is connected with Wi Fi now. I will open Magisk Manager and uh, verify if Magisk has been installed successfully. If Magisk Manager asks you to update, simply press no thanks. And here you can see the it is saying that installed version is 16. Now we need to install root checker to verify root access on our phone. You can also download root checker from play store. I have uh, already copied it uh, on my SD card to save the time. Root checker is being installed. We must keep one thing in mind that you, that you should not update your phone and do not factory reset uh, when your phone is rooted. Okay, now uh, I will verify the root access, tap on verify root and uh, grant root access. Now you can see the device has been successfully rooted. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future.